Oh yes, um, on the back of something here, somebody did ask for that little piece that I sometimes play <laughs> called In the Clock Store. Would you like to hear that? You've heard it before, I bet. I played it enough times. <laughs> Uh, but it always, um, <coughs> people always ask you for it, and I've played it all over the world, and no matter where you go, they s it, it's a one-off, as you might say, that particular sort of piece. Anyway, the story is that we're going into a clock store, and there's all kinds of clocks in there, including alarm clocks and cuckoo clocks and that sort of thing, um, grandfather chimes, musical boxes, uh, and... Uh, there's also a little boy assistant in the shop who whistles quite a pleasant little tune as he's going around uh, doing his daily work, dusting the clocks and tidying up in general, you see. So if you can conjure up the picture for a few minutes, um, we'll go in a clock store.
moments in the clock store and uh, made a change didn't it? It's just that bit different from uh, ordinary sort of music. Uh, originally it was a little orchestral piece that uh, orchestra and band used to play in the parks or <laughs> donkeys years ago. Uh, it was a little novelty item in their bandstand programs you know. Uh, mm -hmm. And then uh, one or two organists started having a go at it but uh, it died out as far as the orchestras went. Uh, whether they thought it was too old-fashioned, I don't know. But it, it's good fun. I enjoy it. If nobody else does, <laughs> it's a bit of a...